Hi, today we're going to be talking about lipid metabolism. First, we're going to be talking about lipid breakdown, which is beta oxidation. And we'll be looking at the sources from where we can get lipids and break them down for energy. The first one is the diet. Once we ingest triglycerides, they are broken down into glycerol and fatty acids in the intestines by bile salts and pancreatic lipases. Once they're into, once they're broken down into glycerol and fatty acids, they are absorbed by the intestines and resynthesized into triglycerides, packaged into chylomicrons, and from the chylomicrons, they are absorbed by the lacteals and travel through the portal system to be distributed throughout the body by lipoproteins. They're distributed throughout the body either for breakdown into in the tissues that need the energy or storage. Another source from which we can get lipids is going to be from our tissues, or specifically the adipose tissue or the adipocytes. Glucagon and epinephrine are going to signal the G protein couple receptor cascade, which would yield an active pKa. And an active pKa is going to phosphorylate hormone sensitive lipase. Because hormone sensitive lipase is a lipase, it's going to break down the triglycerides into glycerol and fatty acids, both of which are going to give us energy. Fatty acids we are going to talk about in detail in a second. Now glycerol is going to be phosphorylated into glycerol 3-phosphate by glycerol kinase. Since we see this is a kinase, we know that it's going to use ATP. Glycerol 3-phosphate, sorry, is going to be oxidized into dihydroxyacetone phosphate, which we, we have seen in glycolysis. This is, as we know, interconverted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and continue to be oxidized in glycolysis to yield pyruvate. So, as we can see, we also get energy from glycerol, but not as much as the fatty acids.